What's up guys, welcome back for some more Terraria. I'm Drew Nicely, this is Nicely Done, and I have a lot planned for today. Now, with our jungle being devoured quite quickly by corruption and hollow, we need to get to the we need to get the contaminator. That's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> as quick as possible. So to get the Clintaminator, we need to get the Steampunker moved in. And the Steampunker is like the Dryad, I think it was the Dryad, for hard mode, um, where we need to kill a boss to do so. Now, I've looked at everything, and I think we can kill the Mechanical Worm. Oh, Mechanical Worm is the Devourer of Worlds. Lol summons the devourer or destroyer of worlds <laughs> devourer of worlds oh so many d words um so i actually got one it dropped in while i was grinding luckily enough but in order to craft them you need a soul of night lead and either rotten chunk or vertebrae if you have crimson anyway i've looked at the stats for all that so I think we can beat him I don't think we can beat the Skeletron Prime right now so we're gonna try to take on the Mechanical Worm today and get the Steampunker moved in so we can get the Contaminator and save the jungle because we need to go get life fruit really badly before we lose the jungle or else we will just be at half health the entire time so we're kind of at a disadvantage here right now. Um, so we're going to craft up the Titan Glove and the Feral Claws into something. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, don't freeze. The Power Glove. It increases melee knockback and melee speed. So that'll help us out. The Destroyer is thankfully affected by that. Now, I've done some grinding for money specifically. Um, okay, so when we get there, we'll switch out the power glove for the lightning boots. Or those two. We'll switch those two. And we'll get ready for that battle. Um, additionally, I did a lot of grinding for money. We have a platinum now. Look at that platinum coin. That is awesome. 200 range damage. If you ever want to throw it, it'll do significant damage. If you ever just want to throw your money away, use it on a boss. I, I'm sure you'd kill the boss pretty well with money. Maybe later on down the road we'll have to kill a boss with money. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've done that. I want to know if you've killed anything with money. Because that is baller. I dig that. Um, so we're gonna have to go to the arena. I put some statues down that'll help us out. It'll drop some hearts, help keep us healed. I got a lot of potions. I think we'll be okay. And I did most of that to get a legendary Knight's Edge. Just cause I thought we should have it. <laughs> and it'll help out tremendously. And in the process, I accidentally sold our original Sharanga, so now we have a rapid one. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that works out. We still have the Superior Sun Fury, so if we run out of mana too quickly, we can swap out... Probably the Demonic Fire Flower. For some more melee damage. We'll have the Power Glove on. So I think we'll be okay. So once it becomes nightfall, we will summon the mechanical worm, bitch, thing, destroy of worlds. I always call things by the summoning item. I don't know why. It's just a habit. Let's grab a switch, because that is the final piece of what we need. We'll go over here to the arena, which I think is far enough away from the house where the NPCs won't die, hopefully. 
Um, we have this arrangement here. And it is as simple as that. So we'll put that switch down. And what it does, every three seconds, it'll drop some hearts. I just gotta make sure to like... Oh, that's kind of bad. I'll just like drop down on top of them. That's all I gotta remember. Um, so we have this kind of little battleground that we're gonna fight here. Hopefully it's enough room. Oh. That's gonna be annoying. Oh man. Let's go buy a switch real quick. Uh, we need this. Alright, we're going to buy a switch. But every three seconds at all. I don't know what the natural, like, uh, the jigger is for that. But I know they max out, like, you can only have so many hearts on the field to where it'll start affecting the loot, or you can only have so many out at a time. 30 silver. Have I switched? We need a lever or a switch. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I think two gold will be enough. Let's get around down here. These stairs are kind of getting annoying. Let's just grab a lever and come over yonder. Bump on and on. Oh. <laughs> Put the lever on the flow. Bum, bum, bum. Lever on the flow. Lever! Cool. So now every three seconds that'll drop some. So we can be fighting like over here. Oh, it's a one shot. Yeah, we need to switch then. <laughs> Back to the mechanic. To buy a switch. <laughs> Whoops. Flew way too far. But, like, as we're fighting, they'll kind of accumulate. So, if we get low on health, we'll get a big ol' health boost. Come here. Let me switch. To turn out the sound. And maybe I have to, like, switch the lever with the timer it might be affecting things uh, yeah let's just change that real quick it's gonna mess with stuff but you know what we have to do with it <laughs> Put this guy here. Nope. Well, that'll work. And put this guy right here. Nope, not right there. We need to put it. Right there. No! Why? Why do you hate me, Beaver? And this gel got in the way before the timer got in my inventory. I know I'm delaying the process by going in my inventory constantly. But... Whatever. So whatever, that, that works, it's on. It's not doing... not doing what it's supposed to be doing. There it goes. Two, three. Maybe it's every five seconds. So, yeah, it's probably every five seconds. So whatever, as we're fighting, that'll, that'll be good. That'd be good for us. So we'll get the mechanical worm ready. And wait until nightfall. 
All right, so it's almost night time. Uh, just enough time for us to go over what we just grabbed. Grabbed some Iron Skin Potions, Inferno Potions, and Magic Power Potions. So hopefully that'll help us with the battle. So right before we summon the Mechanical Worm, we will pop those on, swap them back out with these. Pop the Mechanical Worm, put the Sharangob, Sharonga back on and uh, flip the switch for this guy I'll just do that now and then once it becomes fully night get everything rolling That's close enough. Let's pop that. Pop that. Holy shit. I've never seen that before. That is cool. <laughs> um, let's put that up there. Let's put this up here. Swap these for a moment. Can't quite summon them yet. So that's cool. The Inferno Potion gives you a ring of fire. Ignites nearby enemies. That's pretty legit. Let's get this out so we don't have to have it in our inventory. Let's get the, or in our hotbar, Sharanga out, Sharanga. Swap the power glove with the lightning boots. So we're a little bit slower, which is fine. Moderately a bit slower. The air is getting colder around us. Not if I awaken the destroyer first. I think that was. I don't know what that one was. The air is getting colder around us. So that's Skeletron Prime trying to come in. If he tries to come in right now, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, so that's for four minutes. Okay, we didn't put the honey down, so that was my fault. Um, let's just kind of prepare ourselves. Okay. Ah! Start whacking at this. We're getting shot by lasers. Hopefully doing enough damage. Ah. Legendary Murum also is pretty good. Let's get out the Spectre. The Jigger. Oh, we're about to die. We're about to die. We're about to die. Holy potions. Potions? Oh, we're dead. Oh no, no. That was not a wise decision. I think he ran away now. Yeah, I don't think he's back. Ah. Oh. Well, it was a nice try. I guess. <laughs> so we definitely learned something that we need better armor better potions <laughs> and to be wiser with our potions probably have better regen interesting I don't know how much damage we did but okay now I know I don't know why Skeletron Prime wants to come in or he tried angry Nimbus what is that? Oh, it's raining. Should we go to the grinder or something? Oh, snap. Now it's Skeletron Prime. Oh, what? Oh, what? What is this? What is this nonsense? Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Well, he marked his territory. <laughs> Sorry, Dryad, I gotta switch the NPC's background. Well now. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> uh, whew, I'm kinda at a loss now. Uh, so, should we try to go to the jungle and just kinda dive into the middle? 
Try to get as many life fruit as possible. <laughs> oh man. Who? That was kind of funny. Huh? We gotta laugh at stressful situations, I guess. <laughs> we are so slow. Oh my god. Maybe that played a part. So let's just kind of fly over to the jungle and grab ourselves some life fruit. Go jump. Oh, jeez. Corrupted jungle. Okay, so we're in normal jungle. Kinda. And get far away from the corruption so the corruptors don't follow us. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's just drop down in here. Try to find ourselves some life fruit. I dropped down the wrong hole. Where am I supposed to jump down? Oh, I gotta go right. Uh, get, what? How? How did that happen? How did I get stuck? How did I get stuck in here? <laughs> okay, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. The text is scalable now? Huh. Angry Trapper. Not having that. Uh, a giant flying fox and a zombie. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so let's look for some life fruit. Because I think in mobile version they spawn before you kill a boss. But it has to be in underground, so we're not deep enough yet. Whoa, what? Oh, menacing nature's gift. Okay. I also don't remember what items you need to craft the mana flower. I know it's the nature's gift and something else. I just can't remember what the other thing is. Um, let me know down in the comments if you know. Moss Hornet. Let's go down. Wow, we're getting wrecked right now. Oh no, there's corruption down here. What? This is bad, bad. Um. Hmm. Still not deep enough. Oh, moss hornet. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that went from like super high paced. We're gonna get a lot of stuff done to nope smacked in the face you're not doing nothing <laughs> well I know we learned something we learned what this does this is probably the coolest thing potion wise I've seen so far we got this ring of fire <laughs> that's awesome we crafted the power glove and we learned how to craft the mechanical worm and then yeah we tried our hand at the uh, mechanical boss did not fare well not not at all <laughs> let me know what I should have done differently down in the comments and uh yeah if you're still watching this far and you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for videos every day and i will see y'all in the next video peace